to you again. Um, thanks for having me on the show again. Well, I, I tell you, it was amazing. We got great reaction because uh, uh, last time we spoke would have been uh, about your movie about North Korea called DPRK, Land of Whispers. And it was, I mean, it was amazing for you to kind of be able to take us back behind the scenes of what happens there and, uh, y- you know, just how strict and, and rigid a policy is. I have to say a little bit surprised that you're now kind of showing a different culture entirely uh, uh, out in Vietnam in the, mul- uh, the mountain area. Talk to me about, uh, the working title is called Love Market, but talk to me about the Vietnamese mountains. Um, yeah, you know, the, first of all, like the project, um, the project EPRK only in the Whispers of the North Korea film, it was, um, in, in some way, it was a surprise for me. It's, you know, it was a very small film, a very small production value for me. It was a one-man project, so, um, so I was uh, very positively overwhelmed that it received such um, positive attention. And I don't really consider myself a documentary filmmaker, per se. Um, I, most of my background is in narrative work. Um, but um, following this um, success, I guess, of Land uh, of Whispers, um, I wanted to do another project. And um, I heard about this uh, love market in the mountains, um, in the far remote mountains in the north of Vietnam. Um, and the love market is basically um, it's a unique event ran every year by the Hmong ethnic minority, which is one of the ethnic minorities that um, that lives between Vietnam, China, Laos, and um, the nearby countries here. And basically, what they do is every year they run this event where um, married couples um, can join, um, and they basically split up from their spouses, and for one day or for one night. Um, those people will seek out their ex-lovers or their first lovers, their past loves, and um, and they will spend the day together or they will spend the night together sometimes. And then the next day they will return to their family. <laughs> uh, and it's quite a, it's quite a unique happening. And you know, I guess I guess many people would have expected in Vietnam, which is uh, I suppose the Western image of Vietnam is still of a conservative country, right. uh, especially when you consider the. You know, the minorities, the countryside, the rural Vietnam. Um, but, but this is a traditional event that's been going on for for hundreds of years, I believe, and um, and it's never been it's never been filmed by any Western media. Even and many Vietnamese people are not aware of it. Um, so it was a it was a cool another cool cool new adventure and cool new project they come. So um, yeah, so um, working on it. It really is amazing. Uh, Matt Dward, uh, I, I told you I would put your last name at least once. Matt Dward Janzing joining us, and uh, he's a filmmaker, and right now looking for funding, and jump onto Indiegogo, look up Love Market, and uh, you can help contribute. He's trying to get uh, funding to finish his film, where he went into the Vietnamese mountain and did a documentary on a festival, which is basically a glorified swingers club. Uh, everybody goes back to the mountains and reunites with old flames and says, yeah, it's kind of what life could have been like. But now, hey, let's step back and get, get back into real life. As you're talking to the people about it, because they've never been filmed before, and it doesn't seem like it's something that people necessarily talk an awful lot about, what was their reaction when you were all of a sudden asking questions about this festival? Well, the reaction ranged from from either sincere confusion and to me becoming a, a local celebrity, basically. <laughs> um, honestly, in a in a small way, the Love Market event itself, um, I have to say, in a small way, it was a disappointment. The event um, because Vietnam has developed a lot in the past uh, one or two decades. In mm-hmm. fact, Vietnam has developed. Um, over the past 10 years, Vietnam has developed five times faster than the United States. Um, so with that, you know, it's also affecting the, the poorer provinces, uh, which means tourism is developing, destroying local traditions. So with that, um, you know, there's more, there's no foreign tourists, but there's more Vietnamese tourists attending the love market, which basically scares away uh, Vietnamese minorities a little bit. So, you know, it's still very authentic, but it was, um, it's, it's visible that within a few years this will be a lost tradition in Bush. Oh, wow. Um, um, but anyway, I'm getting back to the of the people. Um, with that, uh, I mean, a lot of the people were just, um, you know, I felt like part of the problem in a way because, you know, I'm there with a big camera and I'm 
one of the white guy with dreadlocks. Right. And, uh, you know, some people were simply shy, but, um, you know, but I've lived here for many years, so I, I, I like things that I do in a responsible, sustainable way. So I did um, try to the mountains, um, and there's some areas, some villages cannot be accessed by roads, cannot then be accessed by motorbikes. Um, I don't to try to the mountains for, for quite some time to reach them. And, um, and when I eat some houses, you know, people who were happy to me, and, um, and like I said, became a local celebrity. At one point, actually, during the love market itself, I was, um, I was filming, I was trying to get, um, to get nice new alley shots, and it was impossible because I can't even get a crowd of people in front of me staring right at the camera. And at one point, actually, the local TV just came up to me and put a microphone in my face. They didn't speak a word of English. But, um, <laughs> they didn't talk. So, um, yeah, but um, it, was, it was a very positive experience. Uh, uh, the, the other thing that, that I, I mean, not to oversell the movie, but I mean, if the plot itself doesn't uh, draw you in, then uh, make sure that you at least look at the trailer, the, the, the shots, the, the scenery, et cetera, et cetera, are just so beautiful that, I mean, that's worth, uh, that's worth kind of donating on its own. Again, uh, Indiegogo Love Market, uh, is, uh, what you'll be searching up. And, uh, I mean, any contribution greatly accepted, uh, breakdown of all the budget there as well, but certainly check out the trailer. It's, uh, just over two and a half minutes and, uh, it's beautiful, beautiful work, as always. Matt, thank you so much for this. If, and I, best may, if I may just add a quick detail, if we have time. Um, I just want to mention about the, about the Hazan province in the north of Iran. You just uh, mentioned about the beautiful scenery. Please do. But Hazan province is, um, is similarly, in a way, to North Korea. It's, uh, there's no access there, really. To, there's no mainstream access for it. For foreign visitors, even local visitors rarely, I mean, Vietnamese visitors rarely go there. Yet it's one of the most beautiful places in the world. And um, as a foreigner, I still need permit to go in, but also I'm a local in Vietnam. I've lived here for quite a few years, so uh, I know how to arrange those things now. Um, but basically, there's, uh, there's a stretch near the Chinese border, which is just unbelievably beautiful, and the scenery is really unreal. And I was lucky enough to bring... Um, this time, unlike in North Korea, I was able to bring um, more of my professional gear with so some of the shot, and I can say right now, even before the film was finished, that I'm really proud of. Uh, but basically, now the now the key issue is um, I need to get the film finished. So, um, so as you also mentioned, mentioned just a second ago, I basically I need to go back to my province and mainly um, shoot a couple extra interviews to try to give them my story. So, right. Uh, that's basically what's funding it for. And, um, and um, if, if anybody is able to support anybody, is able to spread the word. So I would definitely greatly appreciate that. Again, it's, uh, it's called Love Market. Uh, just look under the Indiegogo.com and uh, search for Love Market, and you'll find it there. Matt, as always, great work. We'll talk soon, okay, buddy? All right, thanks a lot. I appreciate it.